Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Dwarf boa constrictors are a great way of getting the full body boa constrictor experience in a pint size package. And I strongly recommend dwarf boa constrictors for people that don't have a lot of space, but they want to keep a boa constrictor. However, there are several types of boas that are not dwarfs. And for some reason, people think they're dwarfs. And I see all the time on social media, people recommending these as dwarfs, but really they're not dwarfs. So today I wanted to shed light on a couple different types of boa constrictors that are somewhat sometimes erroneously thought of as dwarfs, but they really are not dwarfs. Um, and so the dwarf boa constrictors are typically island boas. And so both of these forms of boas are island boas. Okay, and it should give you a clue. You probably know right now already I'm holding a hog island boa, which is the first of the two types that are not dwarf boas. Um, and not that they're bad boas. These are great animals to keep. They're not huge either. Most of these guys are getting up to anywhere as far as hog islands typically up to about seven feet or so but these aren't dwarfs you know the dwarf boas get somewhere in the neighborhood of four to five feet we're talking about like the tarhu bar the crawl key cocker key corn island things like that uh, so this is a adult female hog island boa this girl is about 10 years old pure serious bloodline bred by vin russo and i'd say she's probably close to seven feet you know, and you know, hasn't been power fed. She's just, you know, slowly grown this large. But this isn't a dwarf boa. This is pretty much typical for a typical size boa, actually. Um, you know, even my, my true red tails and my morph boas, they'd get up to be about this size on average. And so, um, you know, an animal like this, you can't really think of it as a dwarf. You can't keep it like a dwarf. A dwarf you can keep in a cage about four feet long. You know, if you're talking about an animal that's four or five feet tops, an animal like this really needs a six foot cage. An animal like this is gonna be eating extra large rats. So uh, this really is not a dwarf boa. And again, I'm in no way saying that this isn't a good type of boa to keep. It's just not a dwarf boa. And I see all the time on uh, Facebook, people recommending hog islands as dwarf boas, but uh, really they don't know what they're talking about if they think these are dwarf boas because they're, they're just not dwarf boas. I, you know, I don't even think I'd call them semi-dwarf. Um, you know, there are some that max out at about five or six feet, but again, it's really not, I wouldn't call it a dwarf boa by any means. It's a good sized boa, you know? And if you wanted a hog island boa, I would say that uh, not to dissuade you from getting one, but just know what you're getting into. It's not going to be a dwarf boa. It's going to be a boa that's going to pretty much get to about the standard size for a standard boa, about six or seven feet. And, you know, some of them might not get that big. Some might only max out at five feet. But again, we're not talking about a dwarf boa here. Um, because they do have the potential to get six, seven feet, you know, possibly even larger. And of course, if you have ones that aren't pure, they're crossbred with a larger type of boa, you know, that could contribute to the larger size. But even pure hog island boas like this one can get larger than like a dwarf boa. So again, um, just be aware of what you're getting into when you get a boa as far as its size potential. This is the other type of boa that I've seen people erroneously refer to as dwarfs. These are Pearl Island boas. This is an adult female. She's about 10 years old. And this animal is probably about seven, seven and a half feet or so. She's about uh, 10 years old, as I mentioned. She's proven breeder. She's had several litters. She had a litter just about two months ago. Um, but these guys are, they're not dwarfs. They get to be six, seven, eight feet long. Um, that's, you know, what is to be expected with these animals. I see people all the time claiming that they're dwarfs. It's just not true in my experience. Um, these animals are also, they're kind of interesting in that behaviorally, they're probably the most distinct type of boa constrictor. They are very active. They're moving around a lot. As you can see, although they're they get to be quite long. They're also quite slender. You know, they're kind of built for a life in the trees. 
so they don't get very thick like you know like the amaryllis or like the true red tails but they are long and again they're not what you would consider a dwarf boa they also because they move around a lot they typically will need a larger cage again another difference from a dwarf boa you, you know this animal is too big to be kept in like a four foot cage I would say at least a six foot, if not an eight foot cage for an adult Pearl Island boa like this one. And they also like to climb. Uh, the Pearl Islands, they kind of have a reputation for being aggressive. And I found that that's really not true. They're just kind of more active. And if somebody freaks out, maybe they might pick up on that and behave a little bit more defensively. But I have not found them to be aggressive or difficult to handle. You just kind of have to pay more attention to them because they're going to move around quite a bit more. Um, but again, not a dwarf boa. Not that there's anything wrong with something that's not a dwarf boa. But you just have to be prepared. If you're going to get a boa that's going to get to be potentially eight or nine feet, you need to have a proper housing to, you know, to give enough space for the boa. And, you know, you might be looking for a boa that only gets to be four or five feet tops, in which case I would say definitely go for a true dwarf boa like a Tarhumara Mountain or Crawl Key, Cocker Key, something like that. Also make sure that it's a pure animal, it's not crossbred with a common boa, which is going to probably result in hybrids where they probably get, are going to be able to get a little bit bigger than that. Or, you know, maybe a lot bigger, maybe seven, eight feet. <coughs> and you know know what you're getting into but i don't want to stop you from getting a pearl island boa i think they're really a great animal to work with and highly underrated but they're not dwarfs so just be aware of that if you're thinking about getting a pearl island boa anyway i hope you liked the video and it shed some light on these two types of island boas as always shoot me any questions or comments you might have thanks for watching and enjoy your boas